about uh, the word is in Irish, or at least one of the words is. And uh, the Irish term for that word is an and the copula in English, which uh, means it's a word that links two other words together. And it's, uh, it's one of the ways that Irish translates is in English, okay? Um, the big difference between is and pa is that is is used to say what someone or something is, and pa is used to describe what they look like, where they are, that type of thing. Okay, check. Is, are you saying is? Or is. is. Okay, thank you. Is. Okay? Can you one more time with By the time we get done today, hopefully, we <laughs> have a better idea. But basically, it links two things together. Okay? Um, so, in, our, in Irish, to ask, who are you, the way you ask it is, Que hasa? Que hasa? Okay? Really, who, you. <laughs> okay? Que hasa? Um, the way you answer, if you say Ismisha, so if you're married, Ismisha Moira. Okay? So the word is there tells you is is is, Misha is I, Moira is Mary, and it's basically saying that Misha is I am Mary, okay? You don't use ta, you can't say ta Misha Moira, it doesn't make sense in Irish. Okay? So is is used to tell you who someone is. Okay? If you want to ask, are you? Then you use the question word is un. Okay? Um, so are you Mary Antasa Myra? Okay. Um, and aren't you Mary? Is not is the question. So not Tasa Myra. Okay. And the way you answer a little different uh, to, to answer yes and no, like we've said many times, you repeat part of the question. Um, with, with is questions, it's a little different. You have the is in there, but you also usually have something else. So if someone asks you, are you married? And you want to say yes, you say is me. Is me. Okay? Literally, is I. Okay? And if it's not you, then you say ni me. Ni me. Okay? If you want to just say, I am not married, you say ni me Ni me Okay? Yeah, it's a, it's a different way of saying it. It's just like in English, you can say, you know, I can say I am Shanti, or I can say my name is Shanti. It's two different sentences, and they sort of mean the same thing in a way. But, uh huh. I just have a quick question to point on this. Um, Mary, mm -hmm. if you say Mary, you add an and an a past tense sound if you want to know someone's Mary. It's completely different. Okay, posta. Posta is Mary. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Myra is just a name, Mary. Okay. Actually, there is a word in Irish that's similar. If you know the word Mary like happy, in Irish it's Myra. So there's a, that one, those two words are kind of similar, but yeah. Okay. So, uh, if, if you want to talk about other people and say who they are, we'll go down to number eight. Um, first of all, I am Mary, we said already, is Misha Myra. Misha Myra. Okay. If you want to say you are Mary, it's Tessa Myra. <laughs> okay. Or if you ask the question, you do with on. Um, to say, um, I guess it is, uh, he is Sean, you would say it's Eshen Sean. It's Eshen Sean. How come you don't say it's Tessa Myra? They kind of vary. I'll get to there. Okay, we'll get there in a bit. Okay. And I might point to Mary if we had a Mary here, and I would say she is Mary, it's Isha Myra. Ishina. Okay. If you're introducing yourselves and you are Mary and John, you would say Ishina Myra Agashan. Ishina Myra Agashan. Or you could say Ismujna Myra Agashan. Okay. And you are Mary and John, Ishibsha Myra Agashan. And you're pointing to people and saying they are Mary and John, Isidsan Myra Agashan. You know, all of these forms, Misha, Tush, Tessa, and so on, are what's called emphatic forms, because these are the ones you use a lot of times when you want to stress that it's this person as opposed to someone else. And generally, when you introduce yourself or introduce people in Irish, you tend to use the stressed forms. One of the first things we learn when we're introducing ourselves is Misha and your name, right? Okay? You don't say Ismay. You'll hear it sometimes, but Ismay, 
Shanti, but more often it's Misha Shanti. Okay? Um, now, also, if you notice that um, Eshin and Isha and Iadsan don't have S's on the front, so it's not Sheshin, Shisha and Shiadsan. Um, when you use the word is a lot of times, um, generally the S's drop off of She and She and She and okay, they're kind of different forms of them. And as Bob was asking, sometimes you get a, a TH instead of a T for Pasa or Pasa mm -hmm. or Tu or Hu, okay? And um, I'm not going to get into it a lot more right now on that, okay? But they, they vary. And you'll hear, um, you can't say it's Sheshin Shan, that's not correct. Um, you have to say Eshin Shan. You'll hear it's Pasa Myra or it's Pasa Myra, okay? I think in this case it's more often to have a copy of H on there. So you'll hear both forms, okay? Um, now, those endings on Misha, Tasa, Eshin, and so on, are Sh and Sa and Shan and Sun and so on, are used to emphasize things in Irish, okay? They're part of these words, but they're also used, as we're going to see in a second, um, used to emphasize other words. Okay, we'll see that on the next page, okay? So, um, and I'll talk about them a little bit more when we get there, okay? Um, so, what I'm gonna do is just kind of go around and we'll ask a couple questions and answers based on what we have, okay? <laughs> so most of these questions you can say isme or nime or ismish in your name, okay? So, um, so we'll start over here, <laughs> okay? So, Antessa Myra. Uh, Nime. Nime. So if I ask them, Tessa Myra, are you marrying Nime? No. Okay. Um, back over here now. Um, and Tessa Sean. Uh, Nime. Okay, you can say Nime, or you can mm -hmm. point out, you can say Nime is fine. Or you can point out that someone said Nime, it's Eshin Sean, he's John, okay? Um, and Tessa Mandy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine now. Uh Hassa. Yeah, Hassa. Oh, it's Misha Bob. Okay. I guess and Tessa Sean. Uh it's me. Okay. I guess uh um an Eshin Sean. Actually I didn't probably really probably have to do that. <laughs> okay. We'll get to that one actually. But we'll get back to it. Sorry, we didn't get there yet. Um and, and Tessa, and Tessa Sean, okay, um, Kehasa, Kehasa, okay, I guess, uh, and Tessa, Pauline, okay, I guess, uh, and Tessa, Padrigin, okay, and Tessa, Krivin, Okay, so that's the way you a answer questions on these, okay? Um, there's better ways we'll see in a second to ask someone's name than who are you. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so one of the ways you can do it um, is to say such and such is a name for me. Okay, to say my name is John, you can say Sean is Anamdong. Sean is Anamdong. So Sean is name for me, the Dong means for me, okay? Um, and you want to ask someone, what's your name? You could say, Kadas Anamdich. So what is name for you? Um, to ask, what is his name? Kadas Anamdo. And what is her name? Kadas Anamji. Say, uh, our names are John and Mary. Sean Agus Myra is Anamdoing. So literally, John and Mary is name for us. So in English, you say, what our names typically in Irish would say our name, okay? And if you want to ask, what are your names, pointing to a couple people, Kadas Anam Dhiv. And what are their names, Kadas Anam Dhiv. Okay, so all these are combinations of the word Dhiv, meaning four, and the different people. Dhiv plus me is Dom, Dhiv plus Tu is Dutch, and so on. <coughs> okay, now, friend is Kara. Your friend is the Kara. So if I want to ask what is your friend's name, I would say Kadas Anam the Dakara. So what is name 
for your friends. So there's two does in there, but they're different does. <laughs> okay? So the first one you're passing more is the and then the second one is the. They're both the. Karasanam, Karasanam, the Dakara. Okay? Um, now, when you have do plus on, means do is for, on is the, it combines, it becomes don. Okay? And the word don lenites the following word, okay, unless it begins with a T or D, in which case it doesn't do anything to it, or if it begins with an S, it sticks a T in front of it, we'll see. So, First one is the word kokra is a cook. So what is the cook's name, or what is the name for the cook? Karas anam don kokra. 